All right, guys, well, I'm back today with another high value and budget set of night vision binoculars. And if you remember and follow the channel, you'll know I recently did a review on some Night Fox night vision that was a really good price, about $130. One of my complaints, though, was it did not record, but it was still a really nice night vision binocular for spotting, hunting, and shooting, things like that. So it worked really well, but it didn't record. So Night Fox created the 110R, which does have the record feature to a micro SD card, which is very slick. This is a slightly smaller system and unit than the 100, as well as a lot of other night vision, but it is definitely adequate for screen size. We'll talk a little bit more about the specs and features in a second. But something Night Fox did that went above and beyond all of this budget digital night vision was included a way to mount to a helmet using very slick and simple setups that's included for free. You only have to buy one adapter piece, and again, we'll talk about that in a second. But the coolest thing about this entire night vision setup is it comes in at under $150. Right now, $149 with free prime shipping on Amazon, link in the description below, as well as a coupon code that's good for a little while for 5% off, which will save you even more. So again, check out that link in the description if you like the night vision at the end of this video. The night vision itself comes in a cardboard box with a very slick set of installation instructions printed right on the front. The cool thing about this is all of the instructions are written very clearly and very understandably. It comes with a strap and a carrying case that I've moved to the side because I have started to mount this to my ballistic helmet. You can also mount this to a bump helmet, especially if you guys are playing airsoft. Something like that is pretty slick because you can get into night vision for about $150 and then mount it to one of your bump helmets you picked up on Amazon or something like that. It actually includes this specific piece right here which threads onto the top of the night vision. What you'll do is you'll unthread that right there. You'll kind of pull up and this piece comes off. So you can use this as just a spotter without this piece. And then from there, what you need to do is it's actually a universal GoPro mount that attaches right here. So you can use all of your little GoPro pieces to set it up specifically for your eye relief. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I actually recorded with the camera mounted to my helmet in a mirror so you guys can see that. But this piece right here on Amazon, again, I'll add a link in the description below, is about 10 bucks. And this goes into your standard night vision mount that goes on the front of your ballistic helmet. It snaps in and then it mounts to a GoPro. So all you have to do from there is figure out the specific linkages you guys want. And a lot of those GoPro mounting kits on Amazon are like 10 to $15 and you get like 30 or 40 pieces. So if you're going to do that, you can spend about 40 extra dollars and maybe even less, maybe, maybe 10 or 15 extra dollars with this mount and a few adapter pieces to mount it to your bump helmet or ballistic helmet. So you really can do a hands-free approach to things like airsoft, especially with an IR emitter on your firearm or your airsoft gun. You can be hands-free, completely manipulate the controls of your firearm, point that IR emitter like a laser or something like that, and take your shots easily while manipulating all the controls while not ever touching anything on your night vision because it's mounted to your bump helmet. The problem though is this is not CQB. Please, Night Fox, if you're watching this, which you probably are since you sent me this night vision binoculars, make this, but in a one power, not a seven power. The seven power is perfect for long range hunting and spotting, but if they would keep this and make a low power one without actual magnification, I believe you could use this for CQB, which would be the first of its kind, in my opinion, from all of my searching and looking. So if you could have this at a one power, this would be perfect for CQB and then pick up the 110R for your longer range hunting and longer range engagements with airsoft and things like that. To power everything on, you just hold down that power button, it comes up and it's telling me right now it doesn't have an SD card. It was a little bit difficult to find where to put it, but you pull this back and the SD card snaps in there. Then all the controls are very similar and it actually has an IR emitter at the front, which will again display red. So it's not the most stealthy, but a lot of these digital night visions are not. Some have anti-glare coatings and this one doesn't seem too bad, but you can pick up that red IR emitter in the nighttime pretty simply. I don't know if it'll cycle through right now. But you can see all the controls are actually nice push button rubberized controls and the texturing over this doesn't feel like super cheap plastic. It actually feels like it's got an almost rubberized coating which makes it feel a little bit better and you can see the viewing window is rather large. So it is actually pretty slick and overall I absolutely love all of the features on here. But enough talking about it and showing it off. Let's actually take a look at that footage and then I'll wrap it up after that. 
So I'm gonna start off by showing you guys what it looks like to mount the night vision with the GoPro in a mirror. You can actually see this records really well in the daytime as well if you are doing airsoft or hunting during the day. Now I've switched to night and this is 150 yards to the tree line and you can easily make out the deer. Some other digital night vision may be a little bit better quality of image than this, but this is perfectly adequate as you can see this deer at 100 yards perfectly. The eye shine really picks up and you can see the subtle details to either see if you're shooting at a buck or a doe, and you can also see smaller animals. You can see right now I'm zooming in digitally and I'm zooming back out. So when you start zooming digitally in, it starts to get more pixelated, so I like to keep it zoomed out. And again, this is a seven times optimal magnification and that's why you get this clarity at such a distance I really do like this for the longer range stuff and this works out really good again you can easily see those deer just walking through the woods and right now they're about 125 yards away and again you can make out all those subtle details you can even see four-wheeler tracks in the ground slightly below the deer and that's how much details these actually pick up also, reasonably slow transition and pans, you can see this does not pixelate or get blurry, so it works very well. Now I've switched to an actual metal structure, which is my shed, and you can clearly see through the windows and the shelves located in the shed, and it picks up actual man-made structures a lot better than nature. This is with the IR illuminator on its highest setting, which you can see it really brightens up the area. The earlier shots were on the one or two power, and this is on the six or seven power. So you can see if you do need more IR light, you don't have to buy a second illuminator. The illuminator built into the goggles is incredibly impressive. And I can't believe you get all of these features again for that $150 price point and cheaper with my code. So in summary guys, if you're looking for an incredibly impressive digital night vision monoculars that can actually record and mount to a ballistic or bump helmet, but not break the bank, check these guys out. This is my second Night Fox product. The first one is still working great. And this thing is awesome for $150 and you will not be disappointed. Again, check the link in the coupon code in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.